<laughs> Welcome back to the den. I'm Tobin here for my first impressions of the newest fragrance from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Doppelganger Plum. It is an homage to Plum Japanese from Tom Ford. I have not put my nose on this yet. First, full disclosure, I did not pay for this. It was sent to me for review from Douglas Francis and Hux at Phoenix Shaving. Thank you guys. I want to get that out there. I almost forgot. So I do have some reservations about this fragrance. I haven't smelled it yet. I could be totally wrong. Those who follow my content know that I am a frag head and I can appreciate virtually all fragrances. In fact, when we go to a restaurant, I almost eat something different every single time. I like variety and I believe it was Ben Franklin who said variety is the spice of life. And that is a motto that I carry with me. Um, because it's not just with fragrances. I like a wide variety of things. Um, so let's get into this. Top notes are cinnamon and saffron. In the middle, we find Japanese plum and plum blossom. Get this label off of here. Japanese plum, plum blossom, immortel, liqueur, chamomilla, cypress. In the base, we have smoky oud, Amber, benzoin, fir, and vanilla. The only difference between this profile and Tom Ford's profile is in the base, Doug has listed smoky oud. Tom Ford's profile, it just says oud. I've never tried plum Japanese, but from what I understand, the oud in it um, is very tamed down and just woody, and there's a slight smokiness to it. So really it's the same thing, but Doug has just put it out there for the world to see that it's a smoky oud. So the exact same profile, potato, patata, it's, it's the same profile. Here we go. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. I'll let the, it sit there for five or 10 seconds while I crack the lid on that and start scooping. And I'll be doing that with my Rodak bowl. I have my Star Wisp out because of the purple. Got a good amount there on the back of my hand. Give it a light spreading around. I don't want to hurt the top notes. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I love this artwork. Douglas did the artwork once again. Doug does all his own labels. Bravo, Doug. That's awesome. It is not at all what I expected. I was wondering if you're gonna do the typical, I don't have one up there. If you're gonna do the typical doppelganger label or if you're going to do something more creative like you did with f-bombs and uh love it seriously that I, that I opened that up and i was like this is amazing i expected to open something up and see something you know purple and with the doppelganger dude space dude right i can smell this already from my hand and i was going to say did i say it that i do have reservations about this fragrance i don't know that i'm going to like it i don't know i won't hate it but I still don't know if I'm going to love it. I think that's probably a better way of putting it. In my full review, I'll talk about the mailer that Doug sent out. Oh, God. Warm and fruity. Ambery. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. Did I just say I have reservations about that? You will forget that I said I had reservations. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. Wow. Phoenix Shaving Scoop. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. So there's amber in the base. Cinnamon, cinnamon can, you know, bring with it a few things. But one thing it can do is bring powder. I'm kind of going to get in like a, oh my God, it's so good. For real. Wow. I can't believe I had reservations about this. Um, wow. Generous scoop. Wow. Yeah. Once again, don't judge a book by its cover. I was going by those 
sent notes and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, I'm a huge Tom Ford fan. If you follow my content, you know that I have a few of his fragrances and I have many of his, um, you can't even really tell I scooped. I have many of his homages and clones from a variety of people. <sighs> wow. I've watched reviews about Plum Japanese and wow. I'm going to go with the dry brush. <sighs> Holy crap. I'm shocked at how much I like this. And a Mortel, I'll put a photo of it right up here, is sweet and dry, herbaceous, and has a hay, tobacco, and honey reminiscence about it that, that may remind you of those when you smell it on its own. We'll find out what it's doing in this fragrance over the next few days. I, I do these reviews this way because I don't believe that I could give you a full and comprehensive review here in the 10 minutes of this first impressions video, meaning that I won't be able to experience more than likely the middle of this during the amount of time we have. I won't be able to experience the base and I sure as heck won't be able to experience the dry down in the amount of time that we have. But I will spend the next three or four days getting to know this fragrance on the back of my hand like I have right now. I will shave with it a minimum of three times and I'll break it all down the best that I can. One thing about fragrances, you know, you might pick out things that I don't pick out, which is another reason why I try and do it a few times. And I also have my wife and daughter. I get their opinion several times with all of these as well. Um, CK base is so amazing. The core, uh, that's exactly what you might think it is, like alcohol, and that's going to bring with it an aromatic alcohol fragrance. What this fragrance is trying to do, and what where Doug is trying to take you, is to like a warm, exotic beach, um, a warm, exotic evening on some exotic beach somewhere. And that is very much what I'm getting off the top. Let's get my nose on the soap. Oh, that's so pleasant. I'm getting exactly what I got off the top here. Just milder. I think that's Cypress. Something is bringing a woody earthiness to it. And I know there's the oud in the base, but we're not at the base yet. Oh, this is a complex fragrance. Wow. You guys, if you have reservations about this, don't. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I did. I knew better than to question Doug. I have, like, did I say I never ever did try Plum Japanese? Ever. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This brush is fully loaded. Gorgeous lather. You cannot say anything bad about the CK6 base. It does take a lot of water. I just, I don't know how anyone can complain about this base. It is just freaking phenomenal. You'd swear it was a tallow base or some type of animal fat, but there isn't. It's vegan and it is just out of sight. It is just a beautiful lather with killer residual slickness, cushion, glide. It, I, I love this base. I really, really, really do. And uh, you can get a tub for, what, $20? Um, you can buy the set for, what, $41 or something? At the time of the recording this video, it hasn't dropped yet. I got it in the mail late last night, but... And Doug is in Massachusetts with the extended family, for those who don't know. Um, 
but he's, he's even moved the, the lab out there. Oh my God. Warm, spicy, fruity, woody, sweet. This is a fragrance that women are going to love. This is a unisex fragrance. When Tom Ford first released it, 2013, if memory serves me correct, somewhere around there, in the early teens, about a decade ago, when he first released it, I uh, got this for Christmas or something from the family a while back. Use it every now and then. Uh, he marketed this to women. This was marketed originally for women and then marketed as a unisex this is a fragrance that a lot of women are going to absolutely love so far um i don't I'm trying to see if i can find the lemon or the lemon the the vanilla i don't know sweet beautiful fruity woody warm Women are going to love this. Is that what I was that was that what I was saying? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks kind of like a frog. Is it just me? Um, <laughs> thank you, Fran and Doug. Oh my gosh, you have done it yet again, you guys. Wow. Um, this makes me want to find Plum Japanese. It's been discontinued. If you can get it, good luck. If you have it hey send me a little no, i'm joking keep it um wow like for real wow i need to delete this video or delete the part where i said i had reservations because wow freaking amazing i want to thank you guys for joining me doug fran thank you mr huxley thank you sir i hope you're having a good time in massachusetts um as good as time as you guys can have up there away from home. I know it's never easy, no matter the circumstances. It's the little big things. And I'm so blessed in so many ways. I'm so fortunate. And a motto that you may have already heard me say, and I'm carrying it with me for the foreseeable future until I have it written on my heart, is we don't just live once. We die once. We have the opportunity to live every day. And I'm going to live it to the fullest. So for those who say YOLO, no. We only die once. We have the opportunity to live every day. And I'm going to live it to the fullest. And oh my God, I'm going to smell like a sexy freaking beast. Forgive me for my language there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon with my full review of Tea Party 508. I'm not going to drop the ball on that, on that one this time. Wow. Like, yeah. Wow. Take care. And I'll see you guys with a full review of this within the next week or so. For real. Y'all take care. And thanks for joining me.